What's up Arbitrage VAs? Welcome to the Arbitrage Academy, an Amazon VA blueprint that is focusing in Amazon Online Arbitrage Product Sourcing. So for this another lesson, um, I will show you naman an example of sourcing criteria of a client for a product in order for them to purchase the item. So we have to take note that when it comes to the criteria, um, every seller, uh, meron silang iba't ibang criteria sa product uh, based sa kanilang business school and needs. And as a VA or as a product researcher, we have to follow that certain criteria in order for us to help them also to grow their business. So ngayon, um, in this lesson, uh, actually nag-create ako ng sarili kong sample sourcing criteria and ipapakita ko sa inyo on how to follow those criteria on a specific product. So without further ado, let us now dive into it. So as we can see here, this is the sample criteria checklist that we have to follow. So the first one here is the products should be the same or not a mismatch. Second is at least it has minimum of 3 points profit and also it has a minimum of 30% ROI. And then they must also have at least 15 sales per month. And then um, at least it has 15 sellers below only. And then also, Amazon should not be on the listing. So I put the word to be discussed here because this would also be depends on the client because there are some clients that they allow to sell the item even um, Amazon is also selling as long as they share the buy box and we can also compete um, with their pricing. So you discuss nyo naman to with your client during your analysis. So next is the BSR should not be more than 100,000 BSR or at least as long as under pa rin siya into 1 to 2 percent of the BSR. So we can still consider the item. Okay. So next also is it should also not an IP, not a hazmat, not a PL. And at the same time, hindi din siya dapat gated. And then next also is not inflated. So I also put a to be discussed dito because there are some clients also that they still consider the item even um it is inflated as long as gagamitin natin yung mas mababang price as the sell price and 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 we still have enough profit in the ROI for that item diba so ayun and then napag-uusapan naman yan during your analysis on with your client so next is dapat um, same brand name sila so we also do not consider an item na magkaibang brand name because that would actually considered as fake product okay so may mga item kasi na magkaiba yung brand name nila like for example yung brand ng item is Fenty Beauty pero yung brand name is na nakalagay is generic so probably fake yung item so hindi tayo nakukonsider ng kanong item and then next also is when the item has variations we have to choose the best one or at least the one to two or at least the one to three variant that has a lot of ratings among the variations okay and also it should be available for delivery so hindi tayo nakukonsider ng item kapag available lang yung item for store pickup as our client um, doing online arbitrage not a retail arbitrage and also the last one here is at least we can order more than 3 units for the item uh, so check the supplier stock so there are some items kasi na limited lang yung stock sa store and there are some stores then also that they limit the orders no, per customers then for example limit of 2 per order so as much as possible at least we can order more than 3 units uh, from the store so these are the sample criteria checklist that we have to follow in order for our client to purchase the item Item. So ngayon, um, I will now going to show you an example of product that uh, meet all these criteria. So let's dive into it. So I actually found an item from Revolve Store and let's check them first dito sa Amazon and dito sa store na to if they are the same. So this is actually a Tower 28 brand and this is a daily rescue facial spray which is one hose only. So, daily rescue facial spray 1 O's. So, tower 28. So, they are the same. Ayan, they are the same. Kaya, I will check this. And then, as we can see here dito sa Amazon, this is actually under the variations. So, so variations. So, meron siyang travel size and meron siyang full size. 
Kaso, um, as we can see here dito sa Bibletron, um, wala sa dito numbers of reviews. Kaya ang gagawin ko, pumunta ako dito kay Kipa. And then, I will check the variations to see kung sino ba yung may highest rating among the variations. So, as we can see here dito, um, um, ang may pinaka may highest na rating dito is itong travel size which is yung one post which is yung nakita natin ngayon. So, um, which is meron siyang 57% numbers of um, ratings. So, siya din yung may trophy dito. Kaya, yung, kaya siya yung may pinaka um, madaming ratings among dito sa variations. Although selling naman tong Um, other variant pero mas selling tong um, travel size so I will also go into check this kasi yung nahanap natin siya yung may pinaka may highest na rating compared doon sa um, full size and then um, so ngayon I actually found this item from Revolve Store for only 12 pounds only so and then dito sa Amazon they are actually selling this for 30.8 Pounds. So ngayon, I will analyze this item um, for profitability calculation. So as we can see here, um, it has 7.39 pounds profit and it also has 61.58% ROI which is pasok siya dito sa criteria natin na minimum of 3 pounds profit and minimum of 30% ROI. Kaya I will check this too. Okay? And at the same time, as we can see here, this is also under the 1% of the BSR. Um, that means that I would consider this item as a fast-selling um, item. Okay, kasi under siya na 1% of the BSR. And then dito sa criteria natin, um, the BSR should not be more than 100,000 BSR or at least um, under siya ng 2% of the BSR. So, check din natin siya. And then when it comes dito sa dashboard and dito sa alert panel, um, this is also not a hashmat. Um, this is also not um, IP. And then this is also not uh, a PL. So dito sa eligibility, nakalagay dito something went wrong because um, wala na kaming access dito sa seller central ni seller. Pero nakapag-sell na kami dito ng brand na Tower28. So magkaibang brand dyan. And we are actually eligible to sell this item. That's why I will also go into check this not an IP, not a hazmat, and not a gate. And then next also is as we can see here, same brand name sila. So Tower 28 and then Tower 28. So same brand name sila. That's why um, I will go into check this same brand name. So ngayon, um, pupunta ako ngayon sa Kipa. So as we can see here dito sa seller count, di ba yung um, criteria natin sa seller count is it should be um, below 15 seller count. So as we can see here, meron lang siyang um, 10 seller count. That's why I'm going to check this 15 sellers below. And then ngayon, I will go to check the data and then the product details. So as we can see here, it has 40 sales per month which is pasok din sa criteria natin na um, must have at least 15 sales per month kaya I will also go to check this and then as we can see here this is also not inflated so mas mataas yung 90 days average price niya compared dito sa current days pero I will I still um, use this current price and we still have um, enough profit in ROI that's why hindi siya inflated And then I will um, check also this one. And then um, another thing also is let's check the, the data. Ayan. So as we can see here dito sa graph, wala din dito si Amazon. That's why I will also going to check this. And then should be available for delivery and then minimum of three orders. So we check out the item. So as we can see here, this is also available for delivery. And then as we can see, meron din siyang um, more than 5 available stocks. That's why I will go into check this also. So based dito sa sample criteria checklist natin, uh, lahat sila pasok and we can now 
um, submit uh, this item sa client natin. So basically, um, ganun lang siya kasimple and ganun lang siya um, kadali kung paano mag-check na, na mga nahanap yung item if pasok ba sa criteria ng client nyo. So I suggest na gumawa din kayo ng ganitong checklist based sa criteria ng client or isulat nyo sa papel yung criteria niya and then um, always check the criteria if pasok ba sa nahanap yung item and from there um, you can now submit the item sa client nyo. So basically that's how you are going to check the item based on the client's criteria. So basically, that's how you are going to check the item based on your client's criteria. So I hope that you learned something um, for our discussion for today. And see you to our next lesson. Bye! So if you want to learn more about kung paano ba maging Amazon VA, most especially as a product researcher, I really suggest na mag-invest kayo sa Ava PH because meron silang courses, meron silang course about PR, Amazon PR, no PR1, saka PR2, and I think meron na din silang wholesale course that would really help you to become an Amazon V810. And yeah, yun nga, I really suggest na mag-invest lang kayo sa course nila because um, these lessons na ginagawa natin are only an overview um, to learn about Amazon PR. And from these courses, no, uh, matutunan nyo talaga dito from basic to advanced sourcing. Okay. Plus, magkakaroon pa kayo dito ng mga trainings after the course and bibigyan din nila kayo ng access sa mga tools and softwares na ginagamit talaga nila sa pagsasource. And actually, you are also not investing sa course nila because you are also investing sa community nila. And yun nga, napakahans on ng mga coaches and marami din mga VEs ang um, tutulong dito sa inyo sa mga um, questions. And parang team meron na din silang um, 80.3k members and actually isa sa mga nagustuhan ko dito sa community nila is um is talagang tulungan sila paangat plus may mga free lessons din sila kung paano mag-apply paano gumawa ng resume and the most important is they also have referrals which is i-refer nila kayo sa mga clients if you already done the courses and trading sila kasi um dito sa Ava PH and yung mga coaches behind this community are napakabait, napakagaling and ang dami ding clients and agencies na alam ang Ava PH. Kaya yun nga napaka-advantage ng mga nakagraduate na galing sa Ava PH because alam ng mga clients yung quality ng services ng mga VA na galing sa Ava. Okay? Kaya if you want to learn more about Amazon PR, um, I will put the links dito sa baba ng description natin and I-visit nyo na lang sila. So with that, good luck sa inyo and see you inside the community.